Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. I'm Jesse and just got Plo Koon come in number 109. I'm so excited to have this one. I was a little bit bummed last week when I uh, I got the rest of the wave and missed out on this one. I was sort of, when they said I had five out of the six figures to pick up, I thought I might have had a battle droid to come, but they sent me both the battle droids and uh, this one came in today for me. So. I'm so thrilled. I've been waiting like seven years um, for Plo Koon to come out. Here's my favorite Jedi. Um, bonus points for anyone who can guess my second favorite Jedi slash equal first. Um, so a little right up on the back. It says, a Keldor from Doran. Plo Koon was among the wisest members of the Jedi Order, respected for his level-headed analysis of events and unflappable calm. He looks awesome in the box. Love that artwork down in the corner there by Gregory Titus. Let's get down to business and uh, crack this bad boy open. All right, now here is the Keldor Jedi Master in all his glory. I'm so freaking stoked with this figure. I love the soft goods. I was a little bummed on the last bunch of figures, the Anakin, Obi-Wan and Kit Fisto, that they didn't come with their Jedi robes. Given that the Mace Windu robes that came out when Mace Windu came out were actually really quite good and uh, would have been quite easily just to replicate that same thing and give them to all the Jedi going forward, it just makes sense. Um, so now I've got one robe to share among a bunch of other Jedi, but this one is cool. Obviously Plo Koon has slightly different Jedi robes, well he's, he's hooded, hooded cloak anyway, so... So this is purpose made for him, which is really, really cool. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share that he does come with his lightsaber hilt. It is actually quite a tight fit in that hand. Um, they've actually given Plo the correct hilt. Um, but the top bit there, the emitter, is meant to be silver. So I'm just going to give that a little touch up with some uh, with a silver sharpie. Um, whereas Kit Fisto, I didn't mention it in my review, but he actually did come with the incorrect lightsaber. But you can correct that if you've got the General Grievous and just do a simple swap with one of the blue bladed sabers, um, which is Kit Fisto's correct one. So around the back, he's got his big hood. Which actually <laughs> looks kind of funny. <laughs> this is the way it sits. Um, but for the most part, it's going to be down or off. I'll probably more than likely take the robe off of Plo and have him unrobed. Although well, he's actually fixed on, they've actually stitched that together. I thought it might have just been held together at the at the middle, but um, so it may not be super super simple to take off. I may have to get rid of the lightsaber. Ugh. Yep, that's a tight fit. But what we'll do first is we'll get a look at the head sculpt. It's not as appearing on my camera screen as orange as it actually is in person. Um, it's really nicely sculpted. These two little side bits here are actually separate from the mold of the head. So they're fitted later. I just love Plo's mask. I was actually working on a uh, Plo Koon mask quite a few years ago now. Um, so I've kind of gotten really sort of up close with what Plo Koon's mask looks like. Um, as I did a quite a bit of quite, I got quite far with the work, but um, eventually it just got too hard and I did damage it and I never just, I never replaced it and started again where I should, probably should have. But, um, what I do love is on his hands, he has these sort of ornate sort of claws on his middle fingers. And then there too. Just an awesome little detail. A few moments later. Alright, so we got there eventually. <laughs> um, it was quite a tight fit, but uh, I don't know. I kind of like him with the robes on. Um, so I may very well keep it that way um i'm not sure yet but uh yeah i actually really like him with the with the robes on 
Um, just really nice Jedi robes. I love that sort of brown look that he's got. That's nice. Like it's a really nice, rich, warm brown. Pretty sure it's a uh, the same cast as the most recent ones. Uh, his sleeves appear to be slightly different. I can't pick which one they're from. I'm not sure if they've been used before or whether this is new. I'm pretty sure this is new because I don't recall that. Doesn't appear to be a spot for his lightsaber anywhere to hang on his belt. So that's a no-go. Um, boots look pretty good. Damn cool looking figure. I really, really like this guy. So articulation. He has a ball jointed head. Ball joint in the neck perhaps. A little bit of movement. Not a lot there. Um, ball in shoulders. He has the butterfly joint in there as well. Ball hinged elbows for good movement there. Ball hinged wrists, joint the torso, if you look up there, ball jointed hips, double joints in the knees, and hinge in the ankles. So all the movement you expect from a Jedi Knight these days. Um, he's got a see how it looks in that end. Not too bad. Awesome. Awesome figure. I'm really really digging this Let me know what you think in the comments below Remember to like subscribe drop a comment All that good stuff any feedback always welcome Thanks for watching until next time may the force be with you